Hi, my name is Todd, and welcome to the Pulse of Miami Church, a church for people who don't go to church. Now you may be wondering, how do you get a bunch of people who don't go to church to start going to church? In fact, the greater question is how do you get somebody who's never even thought about church to actually step foot into the doors of the church? How do they accept Jesus Christ as their savior? How do you get them to start studying the word of God to grow deeper in their faith and eventually get to a place where they're serving Jesus as their savior? And that's the question that we want to answer in this video. We've had to wrestle with what's our strategy of getting somebody who's never thought of church all the way over here to serving God. And we want to share that strategy with you. One of the biggest things that we do here at the Pulse of Miami Church is marketing. That's why we do all these videos, funny videos with Wes and Mike. That's why we do them, so you could share them. One of the simplest things that you guys could do to get more people coming to the church is simply checking in. Go onto your Facebook, Instagram, and show all your family and friends where you are right now at the Pulse of Miami Church in Tropical Park. One thing that we love doing at this church is making silly videos. Go on Facebook and share them so all your friends and family could see. Also, one thing that we have to do as a church is invite. We need to invite lost people, friends, family to come to our church. One of the easiest things you could do is simply give them a ride to church. It will really help out. Here at The Pulse, we have a very high quality, entertaining and meaningful worship service. From just going from practice, we go through every song. We try and really bring forth our spiritual experiences with God and, and just help the the church and the congregation sing along and to worship God the same way that we do. It's, it's a personal experience with God and, and we really try and bring that forward. When someone new comes to the polls, um, we give you guys a connection card. This connection card just gives us some information about you, just your name, a couple things, how you heard about us. Um, once you turn that in, you get a gift certificate for a free meal. Um, and then they just follow up with an email, a text, and a postcard. Now the next step is to get the person into a small group. Now the question is, is, why do we need to get them into a small group? What's the value of a small group? Well, one of the things that we found over the last year is that people who are invested in small groups have a deeper relationship with Jesus Christ. They have a deeper understanding of scripture. And also, they have great relationships with other people in the church. And so how do we get them from coming to church a few times into a small group? Well, one of the things that you'll notice is that in our church, we have a culture of small groups. We've got a small group sign up. We've got Wesley always talking about small groups uh, during announcements. We've even got those connection cards that have all of the questions of the small groups and it has the QR code so that people can even sample what a small group would be like before they even go to one. The next thing is we have every month, the second Sunday of the month, we have a coffee at the pastor's house where everybody's invited to come over to coffee at my house. And what we do is we make sure that all of the small group leaders are in attendance to that. And so if people show up who don't currently go to a small group, we want to introduce them to some of the small group leaders. We're hoping that through those relationships, eventually they'll take the giant step of coming to a small group. Now, the giant step we're hoping would be on what we call a fellowship week. In our small groups, we have a six week schedule. Four, one, one. Four weeks of Bible study, one week of missions, and one week of fellowship. In the four weeks of Bible study, we dig deep into scripture. In the one week of missions, we actually have a missions project for every small group to do to reach out to the community. And then finally, on fellowship week, it's just a time to relax. We want every small group to have a party. 
And there's no better time to invite somebody to your small group than on a day that you have a fellowship week. So that's how we get somebody from coming to church every once in a while to start coming to small groups on a regular basis. Here at the Pulse, we have to set up and break down every Sunday for services, which is a really big pain. But you get such satisfaction of serving the Lord that way. We also have other ministries that you can get involved with. We have the greetings ministry, which you come in, you smile, you give them the connection cards, show them to their seats. We also have the worship ministry, which you know as our band, they're wonderful. And we have the, um, the children's ministry, which Carmen does such a wonderful job uh, every week with the kids as we worship she's taking care of the kids and teaching them about the Bible as well serving is such a huge part of our church without our volunteers we wouldn't have a church they, the Pulse of Miami Church would not exist so church that's our strategy how we get a person who has never even thought about God to start coming to church to accept Jesus Christ as their Savior to going to a small group, growing in their faith, and eventually serving Jesus. We've got the strategy. The question is, do we have you?